This is the dawn. By Larota and Edmund. Good morning our listeners and viewers. Welcome to the Dawn show on Lavish Heart TV and today uh, it's, it's, it's a very beautiful day. Being Women Crush Wednesday, we'll be focusing on the women. And uh, together with me, I'm with my co-host, and we also have a guest. I will let them introduce themselves as we get into the segment where we talk about women and what they're doing and the changes they're making in our society. Nam, tazamaji, nam sikilizaji. Hi, ni Lavisha TV, na hu ni hondo mbao na kusu. Na siku ya leo kiwa ni Women Crush Wednesday, jumatano hii ya tarehe tatu, mweza tatu mwaka huwa elfu mbili na ishirini na moja. Tuko na mrembo moja kwenye studio, na tutakua tunamuhoji, kwa ni yewe pia vile vile ni Gwiji, na vile vile wa sanaa, na ni msani wa sanaa, samani. Ni Gwiji na ni msani wa sanaa, kwa hivyo tutakua tunamulizia masawali mawili matatu, kusiana na safari yake ya sanaa, pale alipoanzia, na pale alipopikia kwa hivyo sasa. Mrembo, mambo vipu. Kwa sana. Hi Sally. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, we know that Kwanza uh, wana watazamaji wanaweza kuwa nasikia tu Sally Sally labda majina rasmi yako ni magani. Ah uh, kwa majina anaitwa Gracious Bella Sally Atieno Chen. Ile ni sentence. <laughs> yako yote majina. Wow. Asali na wote yangu. <laughs> so what would you love to know? Uh, for, the audience should know that you're here because of the work you're doing in the county of Mombasa yeah. and in terms of the you're actually representing the women artistic women that is in the field of art so we are very honored to have you on our show today I'm and uh, I really like to we'd really like to know you more in terms of uh, your art and where you started and why you started it in the first place and what we should know about uh, you basically um, so I was born in Nairobi but I'm raised in Mombasa, schooled here, then went to university in Nairobi. Uh, professionally, I am an automotive engineer. Wow. <laughs> but, okay. but I do crochet. Uh -huh. Crochet is an art of um, yarn yeah. and uh, a hook. Okay. Mostly known with our grandmothers for making sweaters. sweaters yeah. But uh, with time, uh, the world is evolving and people are channeling it back to what to we used to do in the olden days because yeah. old is gold yeah, yeah. Uh, I started crocheting back in 2018 as a hobby because mm. uh, I I moved in Nairobi I didn't have friends I was alone and I at, at that particular time I was diagnosed with a mental disorder okay. so I had to find something to keep me busy or that would have led to so many other bad scenarios yeah. I was very suicidal and uh, I attempted so many times so I had to look for something to do mm -hmm. and at that particular time I was also suffering from um, a blood condition uh, septicemia so and I could get boils I was just I was just going through a lot of medical issues mm -hmm. in 2018 and uh, I asked myself like what can I do so I was working in the Ashara Street in Nairobi and then I saw that they have a lot of yarn shops. So I decided to buy yarn and a hook. I went home and I started crocheting because I was taught by my mother when I was seven years old how yeah. to crochet. So I started crocheting back. I went through YouTube. I found uh, Spanish ladies, Portuguese, that are talented in crochet. So I learned how to make the new stuff like bralettes, tops, sweaters from YouTube with the mm. basic knowledge that I had learned from my mother when I was seven years old. Hey, that's amazing. So, I YouTube. YouTube is YouTube is a smartphone, you can use 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 a smartphone. I actually saw some young ladies who are using uh, YouTube to cook chapatis. <laughs> At first I was like, oh, how do you even do that? But now, nowadays everything, people go to YouTube University, they get to learn things from there and they can be able to develop their skills through that. Yes. But what I'm, I'm actually amazed that you could actually go through the process of, uh, you said you had, you had a mental, it's like a mental illness or mental breakdown at some yeah. point, and it motivated you to be able to uh, start crocheting to the level that you are at, uh, right now. Yes. And I can say that I'm very proud of you for that because there are a lot of people who have mental illnesses 
and uh, nowadays um, the youth mostly are, ch are using their talent to maybe if you're going through maybe you're, you're depressed or you can always use your talent to it's like therapy it's therapeutic to yeah, you at the end of the day so um, so far you told us about your journey in the crocheting and how you started yeah. uh, but now we, uh, the reason why we're also here is because of the what you're doing for the Mombasa County and uh, the, the creative economy in Mombasa County with your crocheting and you're very we are proud of you for that as a woman representative in that se se segment specifically. Can you tell us more about how it started, how you were recognized and how it got to that level? Oh, okay. So I was privileged to be in a group where um, with Bella, the owner of Studio Bella Bella. I was just in the group and then um, the legend, call him the legend, Yona, yeah. texted, he says, he's looking for crochet artists. And I'm always on my phone. So I <laughs> saw the, the text was like, no, I'm not a crochet artist. So I ignored the message. Yeah. And then a, a, another lady by the name of Lady B just went there and tagged me. At Sally, she, she crochets. Yeah. So you know when someone recognizes you or like points you out, yeah. it would be so disrespectful if you don't honor that. Yeah. So I just raised up and I was like, yeah, I crochet. So I, and then we met up with our representative, mm -hmm. Rahab, and then and they told us about the project, um, Recreating Mombasa. Yeah. Since UN declared 2021 as a creative year, uh, creative economic year for the youth. Yes. So Mombasa County decided to have the Mombasa Creative Economic Year, and we were privileged. To, uh, I was privileged to be among the first people, people. in the slot of uh, the Creative Mombasa. Okay. So we were challenged to bring ideas, and it was so hard because now you're looking at a park. Yeah. It's a park that you have to recreate. Mm -hmm. Using crochet, I make sweaters and tops and bikinis. Yeah. And I'm wondering, how am I meant to recreate a park yeah. with what I'm doing? But with God and an amazing partner by the name of Gertrude, uh, we were able to come up with ideas to recreate Mombasa and the mm -hmm. park. Uh, we can't disclose so much because the yeah, park is not yet open. open to the public. Yes. So we just have to wait until the county opens it. But there's um, different types of yarn we did, uh, like yarn bombing. Yarn bombing is uh, decorating trees. Wow. You crochet, it's like, we used to call it, it tree hugging. <laughs> you hug the trees with crochet, mm -hmm. uh, with different types. Like ma you can use mandalas, granny squares, sunflowers flower uh, patterns to create mm -hmm. a beautiful pattern on the tree. On the tree. Yeah, so mm. if you get to go to the park once it's opened, mm -hmm. you will see the designs we did there. Na, mkifamu, kwa sa hivi tunajua ukona labda umri mdogo, bado sana, lakini labda safari yako ya sana, kwanzia labda umbile umesema ulianzia ukiwa, ulifundu ukiwa na miaka saba, Paka saivi, labda support yenye, labda katika familia, labda wame kumbatia vipi hiyo idea yako ya kufomu hii mambo ya sana? Um, kitu chaji abu ni kwamba, wakati nilikuwa na mpatikana na huo ugonjwa. Ha, familia angu haikujua. Mm -hmm. Ata nilipuanza kushe hawakujua, hawakujua chini na pana. Sabu nikuwa nikuwa na rovi wa kumbasa na mimi kwa communication mm. 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 so ni ile uko salama niko salama lakini huku naendelea na shughuli yangu sasa hata mm. wao hawakujua na fanya nini mm. mpaka 2020 wakati tumekwa lockdown uh, lockdown <laughs> eh kila mtu akoni mbani sasa ndio ile wakati ah. ugonjwa corona eh uh, wakati yeah. ugonjwa corona sasa ile na niko na suitcase mm. ambayo imeja uzi tu na mtu ambaye uko anashona mm. sasa nikafika nyumbani aka kwenye chumba kaona niko na uzini <laughs> And now that you see, like in our country right now, people are trying to, they're not even trying, right now they're embracing mm -hmm. crochet in different forms. We are doing crochet dresses, crochet shirts, 
and you find that most ladies they right now it's hard to get you know someone who can sit down and teach you how to crochet yeah. long time ago the ladies the women used to be taught it was like apprenticeship you just yeah. know through your mother or your grandmother will teach you how to crochet yeah. uh, i don't think right now there are very many uh, institutions that offer any ki that kind of training or handiwork but for you uh, do you think that in the like in the near future you'd like to mentor girls and teach them how to crochet or even you know to pass down the knowledge that you have in terms of crocheting or what's your like it's it's like what's your future agenda with the crocheting business mm, um, i'm glad you mentioned that cuz Actually, we are in the process with a lady, an amazing fashion designer, uh, who opened up her fashion school, and she was like, once it picks up, yeah. like we have a certain number of students, and they now can, because not everyone is embracing crochet. Yeah. Not everyone can put crochet dresses. It's yes. still something new. Yeah. As much as it's being embraced right now, it's still new to the market. People yes. really don't. Get it? Get it, yeah. So once people start to understand it, now we can start teaching the girls, mm -hmm. uh, probably in 2021. Nice. Is this something that we already <laughs> planned since 2020? We had sat down, had meetings about how we are going to go about it. We like to pass it down because it's a, I think it's a life skill that every girl needs. You should know, yeah. You know, like. Now, I love the name Kiuliza, Kabla the Hii mambo tunafahamu kwamba yalikuwa yakifanyika sana kitamu. Yeah. Na labda unataka kuileta kwa saizi kwa jamii ya sasa. Yeah. Una, uh, unadhani kwamba labda hii jamii ita itachukua vipi hii sana kwa sasa? Wataikumbatia wengi ama kuna wale kidogo lazima mm. wapitie mafunzo. Sijui kama ume unaangalia eh hey, hii karne hii ya sasa. Mm -hmm. Watu wako katika kuna ita open mind. Mm. Yani, watu wanataka, they want to get some ideas. They want to know this and that. Kujua mingi. Eh, mm. Wanta kujua mingi. Kwa hivyo minu wana, ni sana itaka kubalika. Mm. Mm. Wakati watu, watu wana ununa kwa mba uh, ukishona uleza mza kika kwenye interview kama hii. Mm. Wanajua watu wengi wadarao sana mambo mingi. Lakini kakishana, ah, uneza telekwa kwenye interview kama hii. Uneza tolewa mali hapa na pale ama station hii na hii. Watu na hiyo curiosity yao. No, 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 sababu mimi naamini kwamba kila siku na nachukua hatua mpya mpya yeah. nilishaanza kushona nguo nikatoka sasa hivi nafanya deko bado natumia crochet mm. lakini miaka mitano ijayo mimi nitakuwa nafanya kitu kingine tofauti lakini yeah. bado itakuwa crochet siwezi sema ni nini nitakuwa nafanya haswa mm. lakini miaka mitano ijayo kwa mtazamo si kwa mtazamo mm. naomba mm. kazi yangu labda itakuwa kwenye we actually, yes. I'm very positive about it because crochet right now, it's like, uh, God willing, if we just open the park and people learn to appreciate what uh, crochet can do in terms of deco and all that, I know most people will embrace it and people want to learn, not what what is happening and how it's done so they can be able to also do it in, even in, you can, even in other institutions. They, let's say for you, you said you crocheted, it was therapeutic to you. Yes. So you have that maybe some institutions, like maybe let's say mental institutions, they like to embrace that and they need other people who need that kind of therapy to also engage in such an activity. And at the end of the day, it's not just, it's not just doing, you're not just doing it for fun or just a, uh, it's just it's not, it's not like you're doing it to pass time, yeah. but you, it can also build you economically in the sense that you can also be you're paid for those kind of yeah. things, and people can always buy your products, yes. the crochet maybe dresses, crochet what or need your services in terms of deco crochet deco. Yeah. So it's it's a really it's a good idea I can say, and it's a good thing you're doing even in Mombasa County, and you hope that most people will emulate that, yeah. and. Uh, she has mentioned that, Sally has mentioned that uh, they're going to open a, it's a school, like uh, they'll be teaching people on fashion and crochet, so feel free to engage with her so that you can be able to know more about what they'll be doing in terms of this project. So Sally, how can we, how can we find you, like on social media or how can we get to you so that we can, for those, take for example for those people who want to get to the school and yeah. be able to learn. 
Uh, so currently I am setting up the official page for my crochet work because I had partnered with someone back in 2018 but we fell out mm. so I had to start on my own so currently you will not find any of my works on, yeah, on social media yeah on a page that is mine yeah. you might find it on the Mombasa creative but you will not find it on a page that is mine because I'm setting it up but you can find me I'm very very active on Instagram mm -hmm. uh, my, my handle is uh, B dot Kalis. Uh, someone might ask, what does that what mean? Does that but mean? Be. Um, <laughs> okay, so Sally it's, it's, means uh, a princess or a queen. Okay. Uh, Kalisi is a princess or a queen. Okay. Uh, B is Bella, so I just, it's like saying Sally Bella, but now in a different, different. manner. So it's B Kalis, Sally Bella. Okay. Nah. Yeah. Uh, Twitter? Twitter, it is uh, Salik Bella 77 or Sally Bella. I don't have a Facebook account. I am sorry. Wow. Uh, it's there, but it's so inactive. It's a, a Sally Bella, but it's so inactive. Active. Yeah, Instagram is where I'm so active. And I'm always at Studio Bella Bella in Bambori. You'll always find mm -hmm. me here. In okay. case you have any inquiries and you want to talk about uh, something, if you just drop at Studio Bella Bella, I'll be there. Now, na nikiuli za labda kwa saivi, tumedua kwamba unafanya na Serikali County, wale katika Mombasa Creative. Na labda hapo mbele ningependa kujimani ni peke yako. Yeah. Ah si atatufanya na Mombasa Creative. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -mm, ni project tu ni awasanii wote. Yaani wenye wako Mombasa. Mm. Mimi sema ni miongoni mwa wale wa kwanza ni tu. Mm. Yeah. Eh lakini ni ya kila mtu ambaye atafika. Nile kwa mtu wangu pia Aisha katika mm. Mombasa Creative na maliza kazi yangu ni kufungulia njia mtu mwingine. Mm -hmm. Ani sasa mm -hmm. mimi nitaendelea kivyangu kama mm -hmm. msanii tu mwe. Okay. Okay. Na swali la mwisho la kizushi kidogo. Kizushi. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Labda unampenza. Ala ina hiyo ni kizushi au kweli? Ah. Ndio ni na. Ah. Okay. Ah it's all right. Labda ungependa kuambia watu wa Tanzania. Edmund amekufa roho. Amekufa. Ndio yupo. Unaye ambaye ameishikilia roho yangu. Ni mikononi mwake. Mikononi. Ah, ameishikilia mimi. Yupo. Eh, lakini hicho nitakizushi sana. It's 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 good um it was a pleasure hosting you and having you. And we hope that most girls out there, the young girls that are out there, can see what you're doing and be able to appreciate the kind of work you're doing. And they can emulate that uh, in terms of talent and growth and be yeah. able to... Uh, what I've learned from, from you especially is sometimes you go through difficult situations that make you channel your inner abilities yes. and talent, which is a good thing. So uh, as we wind up the show, I'd like to thank our viewers and listeners for tuning in today on Women Crush Wednesday and we hope that Sally has actually taught you something and you've been able to get something from our, from our conversation. And uh, I'm hoping I've been your host, La Rota, and I'm hoping to see you again tomorrow on a different show. Tune in. And remember to subscribe to all our, our so social media platforms, Lavish Heart TV on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Search Lavish Heart TV and you'll get us there. All the updates will be there. Nam, mtazamaji na msikilizaji wangu kumbuka eh, tumekuwa nae msichana mrembo Bella ambaye kidogo ni msanii wa sanaa. Na tumeweza kumuuliza mauli matatu na tumeweza kufahamu mengi kutokana na yeye na kutokana na sanaa hii ambayo anaifanya hapa katika nasema iko katika studio za Bella Bella ambazo ziko katika eh, tauni ya Bamburi hapa mjini Mombasa na tutakuwa tunafanya mengi zaidi kama haya ndani ya Love Shot TV e, na show ya asubuhi ambayo huwa kawaida inafahamika kama The Dawn e, basi tutakuwa tunakuletea mengi zaidi ya kihusiana na mambo kama haya ikihusika sana sana ikiwa ni Women Crush Wednesday tutakuwa tunakuletea e, wanadada ama wanawake ambao kidogo wamejitahidi na wakaweza kujitoa katika maisha mimi nafahamika kama Edmund Mwadime na hadi hapo siku nyingine inshallah